Hello and welcome back to Bernama Today, still with Shah and Deepa. Friday, 6th of January. I can't stop reminding you because I have to tell people, come on, six days into the new year, what have you accomplished? What do you want to do? Have okay? you started working on those resolution lists yet? Uh, well, I don't know because uh, I don't... Actually, uh, I'm with our colleague uh, Sharon from the English Desk. Uh -huh. If you've seen her wishes on uh, Bernama TV, she told everyone, forget those New Year's resolutions. You know, life is too short. Just go with it. Just go with it. So just I just realized that actually every year I do not have a resolution. I just have, well, I do have goals. I just want to travel to more places where I've never been to and uh, just do the best that I can be, you know. Well, for as long as I've known Sha, the, you know, you, you are a fashionista. You love fashion. I know that for for a fact, and we have a lot of fashion tips coming up. But what is your favorite brand? Well, let's see. My favorite fashion brand. Let um let me think. Uh, you I have probably several. Don't have a favorite. I have several. Yeah, I have several. That's it. But a certain particular favorite, I just realized I don't have one. I just pick up whatever is nice, and um you know, in no particular order, I do, I don't say okay, this is my favorite brand. This is my favorite brand. Whatever looks nice on me goes. You know, and yeah, um like what you're wearing right now, the slim tie is really. It's, it's a it's a retro, right? Because we have that, the fashion that comes whatever right now, we're having whatever now. that we're having now, it's, it's going in a circle. Whatever that was famous back in the 60s and 70s, it's coming back. It's coming back to the 2000s. And somehow we think it's something. You, well, the younger generation seems to think, oh my God, that's the latest thing. It's so in. And so then, mom you know, and dad, hang on to that clothes here. Yeah. Do not throw them out. We might need them. Yes, when actually, the that's comes true. Back. I, some of my dad's stuff. I mean, his his slim ties. I could still wear them. Okay, some of his suits. They're very retro. They're things found in the sixties. All right. So mm -hmm. imagine that they 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 haven't gone out of style because you may wait twenty years and next thing you know, fashion comes back. All right. Yeah, I try to be more fashionable this year. I have great clothes. It's just that I'm too shy to wear them out sometimes. You know, it's like, oh, I gotta, you know, dress up and be pretty today. I don't, I, I don't regularly do that. I know most women do. They spend a lot amount of time doing their makeup and and choosing their dress. Well, when I'm she comes to the morning, she's got somebody to do her makeup for her. Hence, you know, she doesn't have to worry that much. But yeah, that's how it it's is. It's a good pair of jeans and white t-shirt would do actually. Really? It's good for anything. Actually, you're right. I mean, from what I know, that's uh, a typical ensemble for a model. If you watch all these model reality shows, you know, it's always simple jeans and a white top and that's it. They go and out. everyone looks good in it. Yeah. You no can't matter go what wrong. body shape you're in. No matter what you look like, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, speaking about fashion, uh, we move on to something more interesting which is a name change okay we've got a name change of a certain fashion brand wow, speaking all right of. <laughs> this fashion brand i think he has been around since i think i was in secondary school every mm. time i pass the mall i go to this uh this certain mall near my my house this boutique has always been there and it's liz claiborne okay liz claiborne incorporated however it is changing its name to fifth and pacific companies incorporated in may i don't know why why is that? It sounds so yeah. like like it's a manufacturing company or yeah. something that when it was belongs in an industrial area. This Claiborne was simple and now it's Fifth and Pacific Companies Incorporated. I don't know why. What? Now, after 36 years, it's the end of an era for Liz Claiborne, but swapping out the nostalgic name does make sense. Okay. All right? And uh, in October, apparently, the company announced it was shutting down the namesake brand, among others, after selling it to JC Penney. Well, that makes okay. a lot of sense. All their right. plan was to focus on their more lucrative brands such as Juicy Couture, Kate Spade, and Lucky Brand. I've been to Juicy Couture. We have Juicy Couture here in KL and Pavilion. It's all the craze. A bit funky for some people. It's a bit funky. It depends on how daring you are, whether you're colorful enough and you, know, you have the personality to carry that uh, sort of couture. So it should be okay. Okay, well anyway, while Liz Claiborne is an identifiable, un identifiable name with a history, it makes sense to have a more modern name that reflects their current roster of brands. Uh -huh. okay? As for the origins of Liz Claiborne, I always wonder where the name comes from. Uh, Anne Elizabeth Jane Liz Claiborne. That's okay. a very long name. Thank very God she long stuck name. to Liz Claiborne. Anne Elizabeth Jane Liz Claiborne. So the Liz came from Elizabeth. So it's Anne Elizabeth Jane Claiborne. Mm. Alright, actually. And it's a Belgian-born American. Uh -huh. That's why she has a rather. A yeah. uh, surname that's a bit, uh, apparently it's a bit foreign, who won a Harper's Bazaar sponsored design contest and moved to New York. How interesting. Lucky for her. Now, she started Liz Claiborne Incorporated in 1976 and it was an instant success 
Ten years later, her company became the first one founded by a woman to make the Fortune 500 with retail sales of 1.2 billion. Astounding! Right? Wow. Claiborne was also the first woman to serve as a chairperson and CEO of a Fortune 500 company. She sounds like a very successful woman, and I guess she is. Uh, Looking at those designs and the name that has stuck on our mind for a very long time. Yeah, you can see there on screen, those are some of the things uh, um, Liz Claiborne have come up with. See? Beautiful stuff, but I always wondered, you know, when whenever I passed the boutique uh, mm -hmm. at that mall I was talking about, I said, who would wear these things? As in, because my friends were, of course, my age, they're much younger, and I thought, okay, I guess the older generation would wear. But you can see they have menswear as well. My I think only the menswear kind of looks good on you if you give it a try. Yeah, our that, only yeah. issue is that uh, most of the clothing uh, you see from certain brands, they cater to uh, the foreign market, which mm -hmm. has four seasons, of yeah, course. Yeah. So sometimes, not everything you see, you can wear. Because in Malaysia, as you say, and what more with our present weather, exactly. super duper hot. And it's kind of funny looking at the winter clothes as being on display in so many shops and major shopping malls. That is so funny because what am I going to do with winter clothing in Malaysia? Exactly. You can only wear them when you're going abroad. But that, that is our little news about Liz Claiborne, all right? Name changing from Liz Claiborne to Fifth and Pacific Company. Very long name. Uh, Very long name, okay? It sounds like a coffee company. All right, but never mind. We move on from... Uh, fashion brand to somebody who's very fashionable. Yeah, rightfully and said. Beyonce. That's right. She's okay. heavily pregnant but does not stop her from doing anything that would, you know, make the buzz around her. And Despite the loud buzz that Beyonce had given birth over the holiday weekend, we don't know whether it's true or not. Is it All right. true? Well, we're still finding out. All right. The countdown to the arrival of Baby Bay is still on. So, how long is the countdown going to take? Um, much more than the New Year took, especially now that it's already in the sixth day. All right. Well, so on New Year's Eve, the singer 38 fourth two at Buttermilk Cha Channel in Brooklyn, where she and husband Jay Z feasted on fried chicken and oysters. Now she's definitely a pregnant lady that night, according to a certain onlooker. But they sat side by side and had a very cozy and intimate dinner. Well, they seem to be having a lovely time. Well, that's what this person said. And although the soon-to-be mum is due soon, an uncomfortable baby bump is not getting in the way of her sense of style. Well, yeah, looking, judging from those high heels she wore the other day, she looked amazing. She wore sky-high heels. It was really impressive for an enormously pregnant woman, says a, a very... Uh, says a source, uh, she looked like she was about to give birth. Well, the but thing the is baby's not ready. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that. The baby, when the baby is old enough, when he's about seven or she is about seven, the baby will say, oh, that's my mom. That's my mom. And Can you imagine? Beyonce's probably looking at this and going like, how am I going to get back into that shape after the, after the you know, delivery? Well, I'm sure it won't be a problem. As you know, Hollywood stars, they have a certain secret. Even some Malaysian stars actually managed to accomplish such feat. They managed to get back their old figure. But it's of all course, about discipline and self-control. Yeah, there's a long routine behind it. Okay, very long routine. And all right. We move on to someone who is very, very beautiful and I think she is in a good shape right now. I love her. I love her from that 70s show. When I, when I saw this news, we had, I, I couldn't stop being so excited because who are you talking Mila about? Kunis. Oh, all right? okay. Now, the Black Swan actress stars in the French luxury label Spring Campaign toting the new Miss Dior handbag. Well, last year, 28-year-old Mila Kunis was smoldering from every red carpet at every award ceremony in town. Her turn in Black Swan earned her numerous Best Supporting Actress nominations and awards. And now she's secured her most stylish role to date for Christian Dior. She's the new face of Christian Dior. Okay? Wow, I can't wow. wait for that uh, promo. She's the voice from Family Guy, actually. If you watch the show, the, the animated uh, series. Now, Dior's Deputy General Manager, Delphine Arno explained why she was so taken with Ukrainian-born Kunis. According to her, she said, Mila Kunis is a very talented young actress. She embodies the true modern woman and her performance in Black Swan was remarkable. She well, it, is very gifted. Yeah, I think so. I would agree with that. It appears that Dior was completely taken with the cast of Black Swan on the whole singing up Kunis's co-star Natalie Portman who went out to win an Oscar for her leading performance to front their Miss Dior Sherry fragrance in March 2011. Kunis can be seen modeling new versions of the French fashion house's Miss Dior handbag and follows in the footsteps of Oscar winner Marion Cotillard. Oh, Delphine Arnaud added that Dior are looking forward to a long relationship with Kunis, who in turn finds Dior's design so sophisticated, feminine and very, very beautiful. So there we saw some images of her uh, in Dior of course I think no one can go wrong in Dior like, whether you're Mila Kunis or anyone for that matter you can look in Dior well if you you're look good in Dior. and small it's nice you know if you're more curvy probably would go some 
I guess. Okay, she has Some a point. Some other brand. I have she, another brand in mind. All right, but never mind. We are not mentioned. doing any brand wars today. All right, but speaking of brands, from what I know, after this, Deepa will be talking to someone uh, very influential who's quite who how do branding. I say? Yeah, who knows a lot about branding and particularly fashion brands as well. Yes. Expanding here in Malaysia. In Malaysia, so we have. But where can we find these brands? You'd be surprised at your friendly neighborhood store, Tesco. Exactly. Now, Tesco so is like the most unhip area to I mean unhip area for fashion. Yeah, you wouldn't think that you go there to, to shop, shop for fashion stuff, right? We do our grocery shopping. Yes, you go in, grocery in shopping Tesco. at Tesco, but now Tesco has a very interesting collection of yeah, uh, fashion brands, fashion right? Brands. Yeah, we have um, a Michael Long co collaboration in Tesco. Yeah, and let's not forget we had FNF. I remember I went for the event before this. So many, many things going on, but Deepa will be talking to this person about the latest uh, fashion collection. Yeah, uh, I have at the Tesco, details right? with the commercial director up next. So. Please stay tuned. And we'll be right back here on Burnama Today.